I'm Candace Coleman Pope. Today we will be preparing acorn squash bowls accompanied by pea coconut milk soup and paired with cucumber mint green tea. So what you will need is two acorn squash. You'll need three to four yellow apples peeled and chopped, about three fourths cup of dried cranberries, as well as walnuts. You can add pumpkin seeds or any coconut, pretty much any ingredient that you'd like to throw in. Two tablespoons of cinnamon and a tablespoon of olive oil. These are the printable step-by-step -step instructions to construct our acorn squash bowls. For our pea soup recipe, we're gonna need five cups of frozen peas, a half a yellow onion, as well as a can of unsweetened coconut milk. We're gonna need four cups of vegetable broth or bone broth, some garlic cloves, some fresh parsley and or dill, and salt and pepper to taste. These are the printable instructions for our coconut unsweetened pea soup. And lastly, for our accompanied cucumber mint green tea, we're going to need eight cups of brewed green tea, as well as a cucumber, some fresh mint leaves, lime or lemon juice, and then you can garnish it as you'd like. We're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. We are then going to put about one tablespoon of olive oil in our baking dish. We are going to cut our acorn squash length. And elect to save all of the seeds from inside your acorn squash, which I elect to do. So I'm gonna separate these out. I'm gonna clean them. I'm gonna place them on parchment paper and I will roast these for later. Water into my baking dish. And I am going to set the acorn squashes down. I'm going to put these in the oven for about I'm going to go minutes. ahead and peel and slice up some apples. I was lucky enough to be able to go to a local orchard and get these yellow so apples. While we're peeling our apples, we are also going to, in a large bowl, combine about three-fourths of a cup of dried cranberries. Um, I've found some unsweet ones. We're also going to grab some walnuts and some pumpkin seeds or you can go to a local grocer and just find a mix such as this. This Chopped is apples and I'm gonna add them to my about three cups of my walnuts with my cranberries and my pumpkin seed mix. We're gonna combine that together in a large bowl and then I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of cinnamon and stir that in really well to make the filling for my acorn squash. So this is what it's looking like so far. And I'm gonna add in my organic cinnamon. It's gonna be delicious. Acorn squash is still cooking. We're gonna start working on our pea soup. I'm gonna go ahead and add four cups of vegetable broth to a large bowl that I'm going to put onto my stove top. I'm also going to get an onion finely sliced. You can put that in the food processor and you can slice it yourself. I'm also going to get out my fresh garlic and get that prepared. What we're going to do is just saute the onion in the garlic on my stove top. So I've got my three cloves of garlic as well as my half yellow onion all sauteed over there and now simmering in with my vegetable broth on the stove. I'm going to go ahead and get some green peas together to add into the mixture. So I'm looking for five cups here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all together. I have some fresh parsley so I'm going to go ahead and get about of a third a cup of this ready to add in as well. Just adding in my fresh parsley. One 13.5 ounce unsweet coconut milk can. So I'm gonna add that right in to what I've got on my stove top. I'm gonna bring you over to see what our soup is looking like as it is on the stove top. So we are going to just simmer this for about eight to 10 minutes on low to medium heat. And we're gonna get right back to working on our acorn squash is simmering and our acorn squash is also in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for our green tea. So I'm gonna add in about eight ounces of water in four green tea bags. I'm gonna add my mint directly to my tea that's steeping. I 
I'll keep a few to add to my glass. Slice up some lemon and cucumber. I'm gonna add about a fourth a cup of fresh lemon juice directly to my tea. Here, my tea indicating that we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. 30 minutes since my acorn squash filled in the bowls has been in the oven. I'm gonna bring you in for a little sneak peek of what it looks like while it's baking. I wish you guys could smell it because all the cinnamon, it smells absolutely divine. My green pea soup has been simmering for about 10 minutes. So I have my blender ready to go. I'm actually going to very carefully directly pour my pea soup into my blender. Right, so we're just plating and let's see what we have so far. All right, so let's come out on the porch and enjoy our meal. any meal, the most important part is savoring it with those we love. Not only is this meal delicious, it's also nutrient rich. Acorn squash is going to be packed full of antioxidants. Our pea soup carries positive gut healthy properties and our green tea hosts a plethora of positive catechins. From my table to yours, I truly hope you enjoy.